show your pretty face. You look so miserable. Mm. This is spooky. Oh, you showing your pretty eyes. Hi everyone, it's Linda. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to do a video on my empties. Now I've been saving, every time I use a product up, I've been saving it in this bag and I was thinking that at the end of the year I would do an empties video, show you guys all the stuff that I used up, let you know if I'd rebuy it. But I found that I filled up this bag pretty quickly so I figured I'm going to do one now because why not and maybe I'll do another one in December and we can kind of go over both and I'll let you know what I liked, would I rebuy it, all those good things with fist movements. First off, if you like what I have going on on my face right now, I did do this look inspired by Makeup Mouse on Instagram. She is so freaking rad. I love this chick. She is gorgeous and super talented, so you should go like her. But I did do a tutorial for this that is on my Instagram, so go like me on Instagram, double tap that stuff, give me lots of hearts, lots of love, maybe a bunch of glitter emojis. Also, please give this video a thumbs up if you like the idea of empties videos and seeing products that people actually use all the way through rather than use them once or twice and be like, screw this thing. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and go ahead and smash that notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video. And now let's get right into this bag of goodies. First, I wanna start with skincare. So I've talked about it before, but I am such a big fan of Lush Cosmetics. They are cruelty-free and they are just such a fantastic brand in general. And this is probably, I'm on my third or fourth bottle of this by now. This is their Breath of Fresh Air Toner Water. It is so fantastic and it feels so beautiful on your face. During the summer, I like to keep one bottle of this in the fridge and it's just a beautiful, beautiful spray and it feels so good when it is balls hot outside. And uh, this has, let's see, soothing rose, clarifying herbs, you know, expertly blended. It does have aloe in it. So if you are sensitive to aloe, you will wanna stay away from this. But this is one of my favorite products they make. This is something that I'm also on my third or fourth tub of. This is their Dream Cream. This is the most beautiful scented lotion ever. It does have oats in it, which is really good for calming down skin if you have angry skin, which my face is not sensitive at all. I don't have angry skin at all, but I do get that like, what is it, Kitar Palasso? It's chicken skin. I get the chicken skin on the back of my arms, and this stuff calms it down. It does have uh, oat milk, it has lavender, it has rose water. The smell is intoxicating. I apply this every single day, right when I get out of the shower, and I did buy another one. I am still using this every single day. Sticking along the skincare line, I have two bottles of the same thing, just different packaging. This is the Derma E Hydrating Serum with Hyaluronic Acid. This was such a great product and I still really like this. I have not bought another bottle of this yet, but only because right now I'm going through my Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid Serum and I'm really liking that. I think I liked this a bit more, but I do want to use up that product first before I buy another one, but this is something I will be rebuying. I am really impressed with the whole Derma E line in general but the hydrating serum is by far my favorite product they have. Moving on to the face, we've got the Becca Aqua Luminous Foundation. A lot of people online seem to hate on this foundation. It just wasn't for them. I loved this and will definitely be repurchasing this. This is a lightweight foundation. It is slightly buildable, maybe to medium coverage. I would never call this a full coverage foundation at all, but I love this. It gave my skin a beautiful luminosity, a glow from within, whatever words you wanna use, whatever beauty guru words are being used out there nowadays whatever, use it on this product. I did use this all the way through, which I don't use foundations all the way through usually, and I loved this. My only gripe about it, and I've mentioned this before, is that it's got one of these dropper bottles, which is so annoying to me because I would say that about halfway through the bottle, the dropper stopped working. So I had to sit there and like dump this on my hand or dump it on a beauty blender. That was pretty annoying. Nevertheless, I will be buying another bottle of this. I have the Stila Magnificent Metals in Gold Goddess. I used this all the way through. You can see that it's just empty and you can see the doe foot applicator right through it now. This was my favorite one and I'm so bummed because it looks like there's still product in there and every time I try to scrape it up, nothing comes out and it's just, I mean, it's kind of dried out by now. You can barely see it. This was such a great color. If you are into gold shadows or gold glitter or gold spark or anything gold, this is a must have. I'm definitely gonna be buying another one of these. I just haven't yet because I'm lazy. I have two mascaras. One of them is the Urban Decay Perversion. The other one is the Buxom Lash Mascara in Blackest Black. 
I will not be repurchasing either of these. So that, you know, is, is the first of my empties that I will not be repurchasing. Perversion for me is just too wet of a formula. Every time I would bring the brush out, no matter how much I would, you know, try to like scrape it as I was pulling it out, it just came with so much product that like every time I would touch it to my lashes, it would just be like one big goop and like, God forbid I blink or anything because then boom, like, you know, black eye. The Buxom Lash, I did like it. I really liked the brush. It was sort of this hourglass spiky little dude. But again, this one just wasn't for me. Um, it did not do anything for my lashes. My lashes would come out pretty separated, but then there would be like one big clump in the middle of them. So. The Buxom wasn't too bad, I just found other things that I like much better. Then we have two liquid liners. The first is the Kat Von D Liquid Liner and Trooper. You guys already know this is my go-to. Not only have I repurchased this, I have three of them in my bag over there because two of them I got at IMATS. I bought a full size and they gave me a little one for free. And then when the 10th anniversary collection came out, I had to buy the gold one because it's gold and limited edition and I'm a lemming. So would I repurchase this? 150%, yes, yes, yes. Finally, there was the NYC Liquid Liner. This used to be my go-to for such a long time and then I got distracted by the Kat Von D liner and other liners in general. Here's the thing though. I originally put this in my Shop My Stash video because I remembered loving it so, so much. So I used it, I, that one time I really liked it and then I went to upload that video and I'm typing out the description I went to look for this. This was discontinued years ago from what I can tell. This specific one, which means I've had an open liquid liner for years. That's disgusting. So while this is not empty, this is just, it's, it's gotta go because I don't feel like getting a big nasty sty in my damn eye. So there you have it, you guys. I kept this one short and sweet since you sat through 28 minutes of my babbling last week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, again, please give it a thumbs up. You guys can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Vigo Video. Those are all glitter fallout. You are super freaking rock stars. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you in the next video. Have a fan-frickin-tastic day. Bye.